son is a suck, okay? He had going on, okay? He had some going on. And he was basically like, oh, uh, yeah, I changed my mind. And I was like, I hate you and everything that you represent. Talked about a lot. <laughs> hey guys, uh, today's gonna be chaos. I feel like that's a, that's an omen. That's a chaos omen right there. Um, I am, I've been sick for like two weeks. I'm still stuffed up and coughing, but I'm feeling a lot better. I want to just chill. Like I want to just chill. So if you're looking for a video, this is gonna be a long one. All right. So just like strap in. If you're looking for a video to get ready to, this is going to be the one. Cause I, uh, have some new stuff that I want to try. I have the new Bailey Sarian. Uh, Melt Cosmetics palette. Look at these colors. Fabulous, fantastic, stunning, gorgeous. I love. Um, and I just wanna, I just wanna do my makeup, do use a bunch of random shit and talk some. Shit, okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> sorry, sorry that I'm so, still so stuffed up. It has literally been two full weeks. It's insane. It's like the sickest I've been in. I don't even know how long. Um, so I'm not gonna talk super like in depth about the products, but obviously everything will be linked down below. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start off with my eyes because these are some pigmented shadows, you guys. Pigmented shadows. Um, I'm also trying different, um, different products for my, what am I trying to say? For my um, skin prep. So I'll keep you posted on that. Glowing right now, pretty happy with it, you know? nose, a little bit red, but you know, just how it goes. Um, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of the Smashbox primerizer just to hydrate around my nostrils because I can't even tell you how many tissues I've gone through. It's been obscene. If any of you guys have gotten a cold recently, basically don't, don't get sick, okay? Because there's like a long ass cold going around and it is insane. Um, all right, so I, what's today? Today? is Monday, maybe. Um, and I got sick like literally two weeks ago, I think was the first, uh, like the first like hint, hint of it. My boyfriend, my boyfriend is the reason that I get sick because he travels for work pretty often. And he also works in like a gigantic office with like 500 people. So if I'm ever sick, it's because of him. Cause I don't, I basically don't leave my house. <laughs> um, so he got sick and, um, and I was feeling like I wasn't gonna get it. I was feeling good. I was feeling like I wasn't gonna get it. I was feeling healthy. Uh, some time had gone by and you know, he got like a little bit of a sore throat and then he was really congested and like all that. And I was like, oh, I think I, I, think I might actually, I might actually miss this one. And I was really nervous when he got a sore throat because like sinus stuff, that's like what that stuff destroys me. Like, I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but my sinuses suck. My sinuses suck, okay. I actually do have some theories, which is, um, we might talk about that later on. But, uh, but yeah, like throat stuff, throat, like strep, um, strep, tonsillitis, sinitis, all that I'm so susceptible to. But some days were going by and I was like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna get this. And like Tuesday, Two weeks ago on Tuesday, I was like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna, or no, two, yeah, Tuesday night, two weeks ago, I was like, I was like, oh, I have like a, I woke up with like a, you know when you get that tickle in your throat? And it's just a tickle, it's just a tickle, but you wake up and it makes you cough, you know? Sometimes that happens because like I live in LA, it's very dry here. I like to sleep with the window open. So, you know, there might be um, just like a little bit of dry air. You breathe it in, you cough a little bit. So I was like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. My boyfriend was like, oh my God, you're getting sick. I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. Um, and then I felt okay. Wednesday during the day, he left for, he left for a trip um, like that evening. And I felt okay Wednesday during the day, but I went for a drive. I can't remember where I went to get some coffee maybe. And when I got back, I was like, I'm starting to feel a little achy starting to feel a little bit achy, just like tired, you know, just like a little exhausted, not quite hundred percent, which is always, oh, should I pluck my brows? Yeah, probably. Which of these tweezers don't suck? Ooh. Oh. This brow is unruly. 
Um, anyway, so I was, yeah, I was starting to just, just feel a little bit achy. And, um, and then it was like a slow progression, like a super slow progression into the worst, I don't even want to say sore throat because it wasn't sore. It was on fire, like on fire. When I looked in my throat, you, you guys ever have like um, strep or tonsillitis or something and like your tonsils are swollen and you get that like nasty white shit on it or whatever? None of that, okay? My entire throat was like blood red and th swollen. Like my throat was so swollen. I could hardly like see anything. It was crazy. And the pain was like burning, like, bur like burning constantly. For like, I would say two straight days, that burn was constant and unchanging. And then when I would swallow, I would get like a super intense, like dagger, like stabbing sharp pain. So that was cool. That was really cool. Um, I didn't want to exist. There was, there was a time during that, that I was like, I would rather not be experiencing this currently. Um, I tried to meditate, that didn't really do much. I unfortunately have not been training to be a monk. Um, so I didn't have that down. I didn't have that mind-body connection down. Um, so I just kind of was like living with the pain constantly and like eating ice, just sucking down ice like you would not believe uh, because the hot liquids were not helping. Warm liquid was not helping. It was just burning more and more and more. But I have to say I did I do not believe since this, it was, by the way, it was just a cold. I went to urgent care and I got tested for everything and it was just a cold. And I was like, how, how? This is the worst cold I've ever had in my entire life. Entire life. I have truly never been this sick from just a cold. Like I've had, um, I had really bad tonsillitis, which I'm pretty sure was because of a mold problem in my apartment when I was living in West Hollywood. And if I could sue them, I actually don't know if I can, but I'm pretty sure that they are the reason, that horrible company is the reason that I currently have all of these sensitivities to, uh, with my sinuses. Um, anyway, fuck those people. Um, I have been that sick. When that happened, that was horrendous, but not from a cold, never from a cold, a couple days, a couple days, you know? A couple days of like a runny nose, you know, maybe you get a sore throat a little bit. It's kind of annoying. You drink some fucking tea and bone broth and you're all good, you know what I mean? I did ev I did everything, okay? I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna hear in the comments, I don't, I'm, and I apologize, my hostility is just, um, it's being directed towards whoever might be commenting, um, but I was just in so much pain. I did, everything you could do. I drank all the bone broth, I drank all the tea, I had all the manuka honey, I had all the organic uh, lemon juice, okay? I had the humidifiers, I had all the tissues, I tried the throat sprays, um, I did, took the vitamin C, I took the zinc, the elderberry syrup, okay? I did literally everything. All that stuff, bullshit, doesn't do shit, okay? Doesn't do a single thing. I started, I started doing like the prep for being sick, before I ever got sick, because I was like, oh God, my boyfriend is sick. I really don't want to like get this. Way before I started, I was drinking tea. I was making sure I was super hot, like ridiculously hydrated. This palette is so beautiful. Oh God, I'm just like staring at this teal. Oh God, I don't know what I want to do though. Hmm, maybe we'd go dramatic. I have to film like two other videos though. So it'll be really obvious to everyone, but who cares? You don't really care, do you? Do you care? Oh yeah, I had I was avoiding infl like inflammatory foods, which like I try to do anyway because I have always had like a problem with inflammation. But I was gargling salt water, warm salt water, like three times a day. I'm gonna use cyanide. Start with cyanide. This like khaki, yellow green. Um, just any like literally everything. I was taking baths. I hot boxed my um, I hot boxed my bathroom with a humidifier and like the steam. I closed the door. I didn't turn on the fan. Uh, it was ridiculous. None of that, none of that shit did anything. It, none of it prevented me from being like the sickest I have ever been in my entire life. Um, that was truly, truly the worst sickness that I have had in so many years, decades, probably decades. So I don't know, whatever the fuck is going on around, like around right now, just don't catch it. 
or or do and then you know my body knows what the fuck that was <clears throat> but yeah I was and then I you know the doctor the whole do going to the doctor's appointment thing is like I don't know it's just um you're always torn you know I always end up waiting like way too long if it is a bacterial infection I do need to get some kind of antibiotics I did end up going to urgent care and um they did like I said they did all the tests they did all the tests all the freaking tests that hurt they hurt so bad they test you for strep they obviously tested me for covid because you know um and actually one like a person who we know who we're close to and we had seen prior like within two weeks I think ha actually got COVID and didn't have like any symptoms but it ended up not being COVID at all um, and I obviously was testing at home um, and they were all negative so I I don't know you never know this one little section here never holds pigment it's so annoying ever since I like I don't know I've gotten older the for some reason the blend I just like feel like I can't blend it's a very irritating um I need uh you know what I need I need um eyeshadow primer suggestions I was actually watching this is so embarrassing one of my old videos because I was like what was I using <laughs> like is what I'm using now just no good and one of the things that I was using was um the Marc Jacobs primer coconut eye primer or something and um I'm thinking about picking that up. I don't know if they still make it because it was years ago. I don't know. We'll figure that out a little bit later when I have my when I have my base on. Anyway, so I went to urgent care. They tested me for COVID. They tested me for all the all the stuff. Strap. I was I was convinced I had strap even though I didn't have any of the like it was, my throat was just red. Um, nope. Nope. None of that. I'm gonna go in with I don't know how to say that. This guy green. I'm going to use my um, E54 for my set. Right there. Just saying. Um, God, these are beautiful shadows. I'm going to pack this all over the lid. This is going to be a very chaotic makeup look. Very chaotic. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I, so I was at urgent care. <laughs> um, what is happening here? Why is everything so patchy? really need a new eye primer I think I have also been sick for two weeks so my skin is not I mean I really really try to take care of my skin but you know then you just reach that point where you're just in so much pain that you can't even you just like slap on you know have you ever seen that there's a video I mean I'm sure a lot of people have done it but Ismaia French she just like pours like puts pours like serums mists moisturizer oil in her hand mixes it all up and slaps it on her face like that's how I was that's that's where I was oh speaking of melt cute so anyway negative for all that shit it's just a fucking cold so then you can't even like get meds you know you just have to suffer um I had a I had like a before I did the urgent care appointment I had like a like an online telehealth type appointment um and I was so I was like at the end of it I'm just like so annoyed because they're like giving you all of the like make sure you're drinking like lots of fluids and make sure that you're not having this and that you're doing this and I was just like I've done I mean I didn't even tell him at that point that I had been doing all of that stuff because it's like that information is not going to help it's just so discouraging <laughs> when you're in so much pain and it, you know what's really annoying you google like how to get over a sickness fast. I do this every single time, even though like I know the answer. The answer is if you're gonna either get really sick or you're not, you know what I mean? You, nothing you do is really gonna help. And I know like, trust me, I have sworn, I've sworn in the past that like, oh, if I start like, you know, doing this, like taking honey or like drinking the honey tea or whatever the hell and like gargling salt water ahead of time, like it lessens the, no, no. I learned from this experience no just no uh so anyway it's just like you know you google it and it's just telling you all the stuff that you already know but one of the things that really bothers me is is suck on ice chips and i just realized as i'm saying this that like a lot of people might have the in in fridge indoor fridge ice maker and they probably produce ice chips but i'm thinking who the fuck has ice chips i have these gigantic ice cubes you know 
don't have ice chips. How did I get, <laughs> did I get that tiny little brown mustache? What the hell? <laughs> this is why I'm doing my eyes first. I still have like such a, such a cough too, which is crazy. It's like never, never do ever do I have like a cough that continues. I'm gonna take a little bit of um, cyanide on that same brush and just pop it right in the center to give it a little dimension. Um, I didn't speak for five days. Well, five and a half. Five days, I did not speak out loud because it hurts so bad to talk. I was I would like, I like basically ended up um, creating like a little sign language with my boyfriend or I would like type out on my phone <laughs> what I was trying to say. I could not speak. It was so, it was the worst. It was like the worst pain ever. Um, and obviously there are worse pains, but like throat pain, head pain, tooth pain, that kind of thing, like anything that's going on up here is just so awful. So awful. And I got sick right, right on, like at and around my boyfriend's birthday, which last year, I don't know if I told this story, I think I might have. My boyfriend and I went to Aspen for my birthday last year. We both got really sick. I got food poisoning, he got COVID. It was horrible. We, our birthdays are just like, they're bad luck. They're such bad luck. I need like a purple or something, like a purple or like a reddish, reddish something. I want Lisa Eldridge, but I haven't organized this desk and I don't even, I mean, it's been years. It feels like years at this point. So I don't know where anything is. Damn it. Do I not have like a plum from her? Night forest, no. Ground coffee, no. Black tr tr treacle. No, what the fuck? Maybe some Victoria, ooh, Victoria Beckham coming through. Ooh, and a purple. All right, now I don't know. All right, Victoria, compared to this, which is very purpley. Let's go more red, fuck it, holidays, you know what I mean? Doesn't go at all with like my top and stuff, but you know, I was so, I was just in so much pain and I was so angry, like so, I just wanted to kill or maim or like at least injure gravely, you know? Anyone who came in my, in my uh, path, but I couldn't talk, so I couldn't yell or anything. I just like was sad and angry all at the same time. It was so crazy. I hope that none of you get sick. Like that's all I can say. It's just like, I hope that none of you get, get this cold. It was so awful. Bear with me, this is gonna be messy for a while. These are really good eyeliners. They blend like so creamy. Um, yeah, so like the mold thing. So when I was living in West Hollywood, um, I lived right on Fairfax between um, Sunset and Fountain, like right on Fairfax. And um, I was in this old shitty 70s building, definitely like built in the 70s, looked like the 70s. Um, but like in the worst way possible. I was still so new to LA. It was like my, when I moved there, I'd only been here for about two years and I had been living in the, in the valley, um, my brother and I. And I was just so timid and like really just didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know, it was like my first time really like living um, away from home and doing things on my own. And I had this, my mat, where my mattress was, it was like right up against this wall that was next to our bathroom. And I can't remember how I found it. If I like move, if I just happened to move things around or if I smelled something or like what was going on, but I got really sick, really sick. I can't remember if I got sick before I moved the stuff or like what happened. I, re I really just don't remember the timeline. I'd have to look back at photos and texts. I have like all the evidence, you know what I mean? Um, but I ended up moving my, I ended up moving my mattress and finding this like mold pocket, this massive mold pocket that was forming 
right like next to my bed. So I had been sleeping there and breathing that in for I don't even know how long. I can't remember how long into us being there. Maybe like six months or something? Six to eight months maybe? Um, I'm using my E45 also from my set with Sigma. Just saying, just saying. Um, yeah, maybe six months. If I can find photos. I know I have photos. I like documented the whole thing. It was really bad, really, really bad there. I think there were two, but one was like significantly larger. And I contacted the building manager who was such a bitch. Um, yeah, I don't know what her problem was. I, I whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, I really, I never liked her and she never liked me. Um, and she always just kind of like would write off whatever I was saying any concerns that I had or whatever. And this was obviously clearly one of them because I don't think I should be sleeping next to mold. And so they had these, uh, they had like some workers come in. I don't know if they were maintenance people who were hired outside of like, like contractors or if they were like the people who were always working on the building, but they had these people come in and the guys who were doing the work only spoke Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. So I was trying to figure out, I was trying to like ask questions and stuff and I couldn't get through. They had like a, um, and I remember talking to the building manager and, and saying like, I have, like, I can't, we can't communicate. So can I, like, is there anyone that I can talk to? And she was like the, I guess the head, like whoever was um, like their boss or whatever. So I talked to him and um, he was like, yeah, so we're gonna, um, what's he saying? Something about, I can't even remember what his excuse was, but basically all they did was they came in and they scraped all the paint off and they repainted. And I was like, but if there's a leak in the wall, then don't you need to like go in there and fix it? Cause otherwise the mold is gonna keep happening and I'm just gonna keep breathing that shit in. And they, I can't remember what he said to that. Man, this was so long ago at this point. It was probably like four or five years ago. No, five or six years ago at this point. They basically just wrote it off and then they went into the bathroom. They were like, oh yeah, we can, um, like, we can fix it. They went into the bathroom and um, I can't remember what they did. They did probably nothing. And then they were like, yeah, no, it's all good. Like we repainted, we went into the bathroom and we checked the thing and it's all, everything's good. And I was just, the whole time I was just like, I don't think that that's correct because <laughs> Don't you need to like open up the wall? Like if the leak is coming through the wall, then wouldn't it have to do with like a pipe that's in the wall? Anyway, I was just kind of dismissed. And um, I basically just lived with it for however long. And they had done renovations, like they had um, renovated the apartment before we moved in. So I think they came back a second time and did something, I can't remember what they did, but it basically was happening the, like the whole time that I lived there. And then I think um, beyond when I left and my brother was still there. So I was just breathing in mold the whole time that I lived there. <laughs> and now I get extremely sick. Like I'm very, very susceptible to like head stuff. I got, I don't know if I said this, but I got um, really horrible tonsillitis. I think I mentioned um, shortly either before or after like discovering the mold. Um, like the worst tonsillitis ever. In fact, when I went to the emergency room for it, um, it was the worst tonsillitis that anyone had seen and they were bringing in students to come and look at it. So I was just like in so much pain having all of these students like take a fucking stethoscope or whatever the fuck and like open up my mouth and look at my tonsils. It was horrible, <laughs> so horrible. Um, and I can't remember, I like got one like set of antibiotics that just like didn't do shit. And then um, got another set that I can't remember what they were. I wish I remembered all of that stuff, but I don't. All right, how am I gonna blend this purple? Cause I feel like it looks so bad. That apartment building was so crazy. Um, we had this insane, <laughs> see this playing, um, roommate, roommate. We had this insane, um, he was basically a roommate, this guy who lived above us. I don't know if I ever talked about him. I'm sure that I mentioned him a little bit. Honestly, I don't know how I filmed. 
I don't know how I filmed in that apartment because I was doing YouTube, but it was way before like, um, it was successful at even the slightest. Um, but I was filming and he lived, his bedroom was right above where I slept. So I don't know how, I don't know how I did it. I won't tell you his name or anything, even though I'll never forget it. Uh, but he was a nightmare to live under, an absolute nightmare. First of all, there was, I mean, the, it was so incredibly loud, like so loud. Uh, the building had no like insulation or soundproofing in the slightest. I could hear him pee. I could hear him talk on the phone quietly. I heard everything he did. Um, I heard him in his, I could hear him jack off, okay? Like I could hear that, all right? I heard it all the time. It was so awful when we first moved in, we like literally, I think like within three days or something, we complained to the building manager that like the sound was, the noise was unbelievable because <laughs> we'll get to those stories. Um, it wasn't just, he wasn't just a normal dude. <laughs> it wasn't, he wasn't just a normal dude. Why does this look like absolute ass? This is gonna look good. I'm, I'm determined. Yeah, he was not a normal guy, okay? If it was like a normal guy, like, you know, you live in an apartment, you have to be realistic, realistic expectations. Um, but no, 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 no. This was not a normal person. Uh, but we complained to the building manager and they basically said, you've already been here for three days. Or no, 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 I think we complained to her like immediately. We were like, wow, the sound is like unbelievable. And my, my brother and I were both doing YouTube at the time. And we were like, there, I mean, there's like no way that we can make this work. And that was like, I think we had just like moved in. It was like the following day or something. And we spoke to the building manager and she basically said, take the weekend to like decide. And we did. And then we were like, yeah, no, that we like can't make this happen. And so we like complained, we went to the, um, we went to the aid, the build, like whoever, the company who owned the building, we went to their like headquarters or whatever, their like office. And they told us, well, we have a three day policy for that to like recant the contract or the lease or whatever. So you've already like gone over that. So you, there's nothing we can do. And I was like, okay, hate this woman so much. <laughs> Again, probably like legal things that we could have done, but we had no money at all or resources, you know? So like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? <sighs> so we ended up living there. I ended up living there for two years. I can't remember how long my brother ended up living there because I ended up moving in with my boyfriend after that. But um, yeah, that was unfucking believable Now let's get to the guy who lived above us. I will never forget him for the life of me. I mean, like I, my, uh, my self-defense mechanism, as soon as I moved out, my brain tried to push him out of my memory um, because I remember one time my brother brought up his name, we'll call him George, that's not his name. Uh, he was like, uh, he said something, he was like something, something about George. And I was like, who the fuck is George? And he was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm really like trying to disassociate from that memory as hard as I possibly can. But let me, let me tell you a little bit about George. Um, George was a single male who lived above us and he um, had an affinity for show tunes, which like, who doesn't, you know? Can't actually say that I love them, but you know, I, that's fine, that's fine. I feel like a lot of people do. Um, affinity for show tunes, thought of himself as a bit of a, thought of himself as, as just like the, probably the greatest performer of all time. Um, <clears throat> this man had a piano in his bedroom and would play it at five o'clock in the morning and sing at the top of his lungs. Uh, he had one song. We were convinced that he was writing something because it wasn't a song we recognized and he, it didn't sound like it was finished. Um, he would sing it, play it at the top of his lungs and it would be like five minute increments and he would stop and then he would go back to it and start. And then he would run to his kitchen and do something and then he would come back 
and sing and play at the top of his lungs. And I'm talking five o'clock in the morning. And then he would go and turn on his TV to full volume in the living room. See, he was running around. And then he would uh, leave his apartment with the TV bl blaring. We would hear him slam the door. And I don't mean close, slam the door and be gone. And he'd be out and about doing whatever it was that he wanted to do. <laughs> okay. He also would vacuum every single day, multiple times a day, usually starting at five o'clock in the morning. This man was, he had shit going on, okay? He had some shit going on. It was hell, like absolute hell. And I'm a very sensitive sleeper. <sighs> man, 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 man. Can I just say, my boyfriend and I moved in together <clears throat> after that and we still had people living above us who were like normal people so it wasn't like <laughs> hell on earth but um when we moved out of that place and into this apartment my goal was to live on the top floor because i you just the risk of having extremely loud neighbors which by the way neighbors downstairs not quiet but they're downstairs you know what i mean um and just a quick just a quick thank you to anyone who engages with my content and likes it for some reason and leaves the comments and thumbs up like all of you guys Tammy I see you every single time you leave the sweetest comment Rachel I see you every single time you leave the sweetest comment like the, those of you who are actually engaging and give a shit are are funding my life essentially <laughs> and you made it possible so that I am not living below George anymore <laughs> oh my god I can't believe I lived below him <laughs> it was so awful that was it that was every single day okay there wasn't a day when something like that wasn't happening what am I doing on my lower lash line I need to like I can't be like talking to you with this <laughs> like you know it's ridiculous another time that was so random so my brother and I were in the kitchen he was sitting at his desk I was in the kitchen and we were just chatting and all of a sudden we hear him come home, George, again, not his real name. Um, I did find his Facebook. We hear him come in, slam the door as usual because that he always was slamming the door. The, dam the door was never not slammed. And he go and he's like singing and um, being really loud, like yelling. It sounds like he's like, he thinks he's in some kind of a play. And all of a sudden he, I don't know where he was. I don't know if he was in the living room or the kitchen. Like it was basically the same like floor layout or whatever. He starts replicating the sounds of orgasms. Extre like literally like to the point like our windows were open. Like if you were anywhere in the vicinity of this building, you could hear it. Like it was so loud and it went on for such a long time. And my brother and I were just looking at each other long enough for me to be able to like take a recording. I wonder where that is. I definitely have it somewhere. I saved all of his um, craziness in a file because I just thought like someday I would need that. <laughs> I don't know, just felt like I needed it. Um, and then after like a good maybe minute and a half of that, maybe that's, maybe that's really long. I don't, I can't remember. I just remember it, it felt like it was so long. He just silence for like hours <laughs> it was so weird it was like he came home from somewhere and this was like three o'clock in the afternoon we were are convinced that he was on some kind of drugs like he must have been uh because he sounded like he was having a real good time and then he just came home and passed out oh my god and then one time we heard him um oh, that made me really sad he had a cat who according to our building manager looks looked a lot like ziva um, which made me really sad because he was just so un, he was just so like unpredictable and unreliable and he would like the best times were when he wasn't home but I don't know what he was doing with his cat you know what I mean um, like when he would I don't know like travel or go somewhere or whatever maybe I knew I know he had a relationship with his mom because I found his Facebook page so like maybe he was spending time visiting his mom but like again I don't know what, what happened to the cat I don't know I don't know anything about it um, but one time we heard him, it sounded like they were playing, like he was throwing a ball around um, and we could hear the cat like run occasionally and because we could hear fucking everything. 
And he just like stopped and he screamed, ow! And he was like, that hurts me when you do that. And we were like, what the fuck? Dude, it was truly terrifying. The whole time we lived there, truly terrifying. Um, I don't know, I don't, there's no other way to put it. It was, it was terrifying. This is getting real dark and smoky. I hope you guys can see the um, nuance of the color because it is quite nice. God, I'll never forget that man. He made my life a living hell for two straight years. The worst was definitely the vacuuming because it would happen every day, like really early. But all of those sounds, the TV, the vacuuming, the singing, the piano, all of that stuff happened like every day. And then it would be like he would jump from one and then go to the next. Um, and then he would stop and then he would immediately go back. And it was just like this like extreme mind fuck constantly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like everybody who like moves to a city ends up having some kind of a, an experience like that, you know, some kind of crazy neighbor um, who thinks that they like, I don't know, are, are, are living on Broadway or something. I was pretty convinced that that's what he thought. We, where we thought he was writing a musical, but he never really ever finished the song as far as we knew. Um, no idea what he did for work. No idea about any of that stuff. Yeah, just fucking crazy, dude. Fucking crazy. One, I remember one time, like really early in the morning, um, because like he did that, that thing where he would wake up, turn his TV on full volume, and then leave. I remember Googling, like, how to turn off a neighbor's TV. Like, is there like a gadget I can buy to like hack his like remote <laughs> or something? How do I turn, oh God. And also, I forgot about this, I can't believe I forgot about this. He never would wake up, never would wake up. So his alarm would go off for hours, like at least an hour. He would, he would not wake, he'd wake up. And like I said, I could hear everything that was going on above me. So like the alarm was so loud. Oh, maybe that's what I Googled. Maybe I was trying to like hack cell phones. I can't remember, but yeah, it was truly, uh, it was just, it was chaos. It was, it was hell, hell on earth. I was just gonna say, I, I wanna hear your, I wish I could hear your um, like nightmare, either nightmare roommate or nightmare like neighbor stories. So if you have any to share, leave them in the comments. I mean, I know that's like, that's hard to do when you're typing because it's, it's probably like so long. I don't know if I would want to type out everything I just said to you guys, but I would love to hear it. I feel like it's just like a rite of passage when you move to a new city, you know, you have to have that. I had some weird neighbors at our first apartment, but like not really, they kind of like kept to themselves. And in terms of noise, it wasn't like horrible, you know? I'm just, I don't want to be stuffed up anymore. I'm so sick of being stuffed up. I feel, I feel for every single one of you who might be sick right now or have gotten sick this season. My body like didn't get sick for a really long time when I moved to LA, just I guess because I, I don't know, I guess I just was maintaining my like New England immune system, strong immune system. I'd been exposed to everything, but then, but now, I mean, I just feel like that's totally gone now. I just get sick, it sucks. Okay, get it together. I kind of want to use something shimmery in the on the lid just because it's so dark and heavy and obviously like we don't have any other makeup on so it's gonna look crazy for a minute. Where are those toppers? Are they in here? Uh, maybe this gold one a little bit. I'm always hesitant with these kinds of things just because I feel like I don't, I don't know. I feel like I suck at using them. Like these kinds of glitters. Should we just keep it matte? I wish you were here so that you could tell me in person. Cause I really just don't know. Maybe I'll hold off for now. Let's do the skin. I gotta like go blow my nose. Okay. <sighs> All right, nose has been blown. Let's uh, move on to this. Look at these roots. Look at these roots. Are you kidding me right now? I uh, wanted to grow out the blonde because it was starting to get a little straw-like and I've been bleaching my hair every six to eight to 10, probably like eight weeks for the past five plus years, five and a half years probably. Five, what month is this? Five and a half years. So I thought it would be a good time to take a break <laughs> uh, and cut, cut uh, the majority of it off, but it's making my, it's just making my hair look really, really crazy. 
<clears throat> I'm getting it done later this week, so nobody worry. This is very difficult with that. The angling of the... Maybe I can just like lean forward. I'll just lean forward. Um, all right. So I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, I do want to, I have said this before, but I do want to, because a few of you have asked me to do a membership thing. So my plan is, there's literally crumbs from that sugar cookie, from my sugar cookie <laughs> makeup still on this desk. I really need to this room does not stay organized. Like, you know my hot girl hygiene video? This room, nothing, nothing, all right? Anyway, oh, I was gonna do a round two. I'm gonna do a round two soon. Um, whatever, what was I saying? Oh, see, so people have asked me for memberships to do like a membership with like a live stream or something. I wanna do it so badly. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to help me set it up, okay? Cause I don't know what I'm doing. And that fool is a producer, and I am trying to get him to quit his job <laughs> to just help me, okay? And I don't know why that's such a big ask. <laughs> just change your whole life, dude. Um, but yeah, I am planning on, I'm planning on that. And like, no pressure, you know? But like, if you did want live streams where we can actually like chat with each other, um, that's in the works, it's in the works, all right? It's something that I really wanna do. Uh, I recently, I had been interested in it. Do you know Alana, is it Davidson or Davison? Alana Rama on YouTube? Um, I was watching her, a video that she did like a while back of, I'm gonna roll up these sleeves. We gotta get, we're gonna get down to business here. Um, of Nikki Makeup, she bought the Nikki Makeup Masterclass. I think it was the first one. I actually can't remember. I was very intrigued by that. I watched her uh, do the makeup look, like rec recreate the makeup look from what she had observed from Nikki Makeup. If you don't know Nikki Makeup, I'm not talking Nikki tutorials. Um, I'm talking Nikki Makeup. She is an incredible celebrity makeup artist. Her work is so distinct to her and beautiful and clean, like extremely clean. And I've always just like, I've just always admired, admired it. So I was really interested when um, Alana purchased her makeup class and then like basically did a video about everything that she had learned. So I recently decided to uh, purchase her makeup class as well. Cause I was like, I wanna watch it. And I will say that for me, the techniques are nothing new to me. I've been doing this shit for a really long time. I didn't learn anything new from that, but what I, the main reason that I wanted to um, watch it was to see what products she was using, which is why I'm doing slightly different things with my complexion and I will keep you updated on that. But also the biggest thing that you can take from it that's the most valuable is uh, her, the way her application. Her application is so incredibly delicate and purposeful. And especially when you're doing your, she's obviously, she's doing makeup on models because she's a working makeup artist. Um, but even when you're doing your own makeup, it can be, you know, once you get into your routine, this is something that I'm like definitely guilty of. You get into your routine and you're just kind of used to like, I don't know, packing it on or piling it on and, um, or being just like heavy and harsh with it uh, and watching her and now I'm not gonna be able to do any of the stuff that I learned because I'm talking and I'm terrible at doing my makeup when I'm talking. Fun fact, I'm actually terrible at doing my makeup when I'm talking. Um, but yeah, just her, the way that the, the, I mean, I mean, I get this from Elisa Eldridge also, but like, it's such a, um, a good reminder when you watch a professional makeup artist do makeup on someone else, how incredibly delicate and how little product they're using. It's just a good reminder, even if, you know, especially if you're, trying to be a working artist or you are a working artist uh, and you're trying to improve your skills but even if you're just you know doing your own makeup it's just such a good reminder so I personally think that it's incredibly valuable um, it wasn't cheap I can't remember how much I paid for it because I got the I did the gold thing which was all three seasons of her master classes which for me is I mean if you're you know a working artist then it's um for your business so good excuse you know good excuse but yeah it was just like incredibly valuable and she has that beautiful British accent that just is so 
calming. Isimea, Lisa Eldridge, watching their tutorials, any of their tutorials is always like so incredibly calming because they're just like, perf they're so well-spoken. Anyway, I would highly recommend that if you have an interest in it. Oh man. You know when you haven't spoken in a really long time and then you, and then you have to talk and then you just like are exhausted? That happens to me every time I see Sarah. <laughs> um, I think I, I tell her this all the time, but like every time I see Sarah, the one who does my hair color, um, we always like, it's just been such a long time, so we haven't caught up, you know? Um, and she needs to update me on everything that's going on in her life and vice versa. And uh, I get so exhausted because I'm a recluse, so I'm not often talking that much. And then like by ha halfway through our appointment, I'm like, oh, bedtime. <laughs> I'm feeling that way right now. I literally didn't speak for five days, you know? So uh, it's just crazy. Has anyone had this insane cold? I need to know. I need to know that I'm not the only one. Because I always thought that like, I my immune system was pretty good. So it's a little disconcerting um, that I have gotten this sick. It really is. I'm out of shows. I'm like completely out of shows. My boyfriend and I are watching the new season of The Crown. Um, what else? I've been watching, I watched some like holiday movies recently. That was cute. Cause Christmas. You know, it's funny when I moved to LA, I was like, it does not feel like the holidays here at all. But the longer you're here, you start to really feel it. Like, especially in our neighborhood, we do have, I mean, it's not like where I grew up in New England, but we do have leaves that change color, you know? And there are some red ones. And it's pretty and we get like go for walks and there's like crunchy leaves and stuff. So it kind of like feels like fall. Um, that's the nicest thing about LA winter. LA winter is just like fall. It's so nice. You don't have to deal with any of the snow, the like 20 degrees and below the wind like that. It's just like, oh, it's so nice. Definitely very spoiled. A bunch of creasing happening under my eyes but I'll set and it'll be fine how incredibly sick do I sound I am so sick of this like I just don't want to sound like this anymore I'm actually gonna go back to rare beauty concealer because I haven't used it in a while and I kind of miss it I feel like it was my go-to for so long so this is 170w I'm gonna do this I'll put it on the back of my hand wait why am I doing concealer right now that's not how I do things okay pause I stopped doing this. See, it's been so long. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Go to your con. Oh, I have a new contour. I'm very excited about. Um, where did it go? Oh, right here it is. I picked up this Kevin Aquan uh, contrast stick. This one is in the shade Shape, and I'm very intrigued by it because it's Kevin Aquan. So we're gonna try it. How does it compare to Fawn? It might be like more of a bronzer. Yeah. I didn't, um, oh, damn it, it's more of a bronzer. So here's um, whatever this is called, Shape. This is Shape, Kevin Aquan, and then this is Fawn, which is, you know, more cool toned, a little bit darker. But maybe I'll just use it, cause like, who cares? But will it look really weird on my jawline? Oh God, I don't know, probably. I guess I'll just use it for the rest of my face. So I'm gonna start with my jawline and use fawn. Some people were, it was very funny when I did my sugar cookie look, some people were very um, concerned that I had started eating sugar again. <laughs> it's like in those videos where I've talked about eating added sugar, I, I'm pretty sure I explicitly said that like, my goal is to not eat it so that when I do, it's not, it's just not as often and it doesn't make me feel as bad. And by feel as bad, I don't mean, I think when I say that people think that I mean that I like get down on myself and I'm like depressed. What I mean is that like, um, it doesn't make me feel really like tired and depleted because when I eat added sugar, that's how it makes me feel. Like it just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like metabolize it well or something. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. But yeah, a lot of people were very concerned about that. 
So don't worry, I do try to limit my added sugar. I try not to make it like a constant in my life. I do try, but when I do, do have it, it's not the, like it's not the end of the world. It shouldn't be like, I don't know, it shouldn't be like a horrible thing. It's not like I'm saying I'm vegan and I'm eating meat, you know what I mean? Oh, I have a new um, sweet recipe if anyone is interested, because uh, I know I made that that recipe, like sweet video, sweet, oh my God, sweet recipe video thing um, for people who like wanted sweet recipes that didn't have contain added sugar. And like basically they're all still all the same, like everything that I eat is basically all that. But um, the only difference is I recently, uh, I got really sick, <laughs> not, okay, let me back up. When I was sick, throughout my boyfriend's birthday. Oh, and I had this whole plan to surprise him with all this stuff. Um, and I had sort of started to feel a little bit better the day before his birthday. And then he, which was I think a Monday, and he went into work and I kept trying to figure out like, is he gonna be staying home for his birthday? Is he going into work? I was really hoping that he was gonna be going into work <laughs> for um, on his birthday, at least for a little while, because it was on a Tuesday. Um, I was really, really hoping. So that, that would give me like plenty of time to set up. And uh, unfortunately he, I mean, fortunately for him, unfortunately for me, he uh, was working from home on his birthday. So I found that out the day before his birthday and I was still pretty sick. So, I mean, I was still really sick, uh, but I wanted like enough time to be able to set up everything for him. So I just like killed myself <laughs> to set everything up, which was not a good idea because I pushed myself way too hard to the point, I think, what did I had for, well, I had had eggs and something else for breakfast. I think I made myself like a matcha tea, which maybe the caffeine wasn't a good idea. My skin's looking a little bit dehydrated, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I just pushed myself way too hard because there was so much stuff that I wanted to get done before he came home and I didn't know how early he would be coming home. Um, and I pushed myself to like the point of exhaustion. Like I almost passed out trying to blow up some balloons. Um, and then I projectile vomited all over my bathroom, which was not a good thing, not a good thing at all. Uh, and, I, and I do wish that I had not done it. And basically because I had had eggs for breakfast, I no longer have an appetite for eggs. You know when that happens? You get sick on something, like the first time you drink, you get sick on something and then you just like never wanna drink it again. For me, that was Bailey's. So yeah, I didn't want any of, so I have not been able to eat eggs. And I don't know if you, if I've said this before, I'm pretty sure that I have, but I pretty much eat eggs every single morning for breakfast. So that has uh, been kind of difficult. Anyway, so I found this new breakfast um, and it's sweet quinoa. So you basically just like fry up some already cooked quinoa in a pan with like a little bit of oil of your choice. I use avocado cause it's like, you know, neutral goes with anything and cinnamon. Like put a little bit of, um, put a little bit of the oil and cinnamon in a pan and heat it up until the cinnamon is fragrant and then add the quinoa, heat that up. You're basically just heating it up. And then you can just top it with whatever, like fruit, nuts, dried fruit, yogurt, whatever the hell you want. And then you can sweeten it with like whatever your choice is. If it's like maple syrup or honey, you can use stevia, Personally, I've been using maple syrup um, and it's so delicious uh, and the quinoa is good. So that's what I've been doing recently. It is, is obviously like the sweeter you want it, the more like sweetener you can add. And if you don't want it to be like too sweet, then just be a little bit more conservative with it. But um, yeah, I've been really loving that. It's so delicious. I've been having it pretty much every single morning. I had it this morning, which is great. I guess I'll use that contour stick on the I guess this is gonna be my new bronzer stick. It is a good color, but it might be, I don't know, a little too neutral for my bronzer. But anyway, it's really easy to make. So there's an option for you. It's very um, cinnamon. Cinnamon is a big one for me. Tastes very, um, tastes very French toasty. I am not gonna be doing blush in this video because I'm gonna be doing blush in a different video, just so you know. So I'm kind of like building up my contour and bronzer a little bit more for some definition. Oh wait, I need to contour my um, lips and nose. I 
really missed doing my makeup. Like I thought about it a lot. And there were a lot of times where I wanted to like so badly just sit down and do it, but I was just so sick. And even, even now, like I want, I really want to be doing it, but I just feel so depleted, like so depleted. It's awful. It sucks when you like have to take time off because you're sick, but then after you're sick, like that, like being sick has took, taken so much out of you um, that you feel like you need time off after the time off from being sick. You know what I mean? Which is just not realistic. Not realistic at all. It is really funny because it's very true that I do not do my makeup as well when I'm speaking. I have a very difficult time like talking while I do it. <sighs> so basically you guys are never seeing my best makeup, <laughs> never. Like it always looks so much better when I'm just like not when I'm just like completely focused 100% on what I'm doing, which is probably true of like things for everyone, you know? But talking through things is just like very difficult. Like I just can't go on autopilot with it, you know? I have a very difficult time like remove, like, I don't know. Like my brain really needs to be thinking about this thing right here, you know? I have a humidifier going in here right now, um, which I should honestly always have because this room is so dry. For some reason, this room gets so dry and then I always end up like coughing like crazy or dying in the middle of a sentence or like my throat dries out or something. I don't think you guys can hear it. It's like pretty quiet. All right, I'm gonna continue to finish off the face before we go back to the eyes. Like all of this is very harsh right now, Don't, but don't worry. Don't worry, we're gonna work on it. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? Aziva's in here somewhere and I can just hear her breathing and I don't know what she's doing. Sorry, I'm doing some spot concealing and I just like need to actually be able to see my mirror face. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do a teeny little bit of warming up because that bronzer that I used, the Kevin Kwan one, is just like a little bit more cool toned than what I typically use. So this, still haven't heard from NARS. NARS, where are you at? How, what, what do I do? When I run out of San Juan, what do I do? Which Laguna do I buy? <laughs> I need to know. I guess we can finish off the eyes because I don't know what highlight I want to use. I don't know if I want to use like a powder or a cream or what is going to happen. I'm going to go back in with this fluff. Ooh, do I wanna use that? No, where did it go? I'm really loving this um, blending brush from Nikki's uh, other Nikki, not Nikki Makeup. <laughs> Nikki Charles, Nikki Makeup, Nikki LaRose. Nikki LaRose's collab with BK Beauty. I'm really loving this. It's the N13 brush, it's just a good one. So I'm gonna switch it, I'm gonna switch it. I'm actually gonna be using the same color, I think, but I'm just gonna wipe off any extra on my Sigma switch from my You already know. And I'm gonna pick up, uh, I almost said cyanide, cyanide again. I lied, I'm mixing cyanide and arsenic. Arsenic is that peach. And then I'm just gonna go around the very edges with the, literally the lightest hand. Oh my God, I just want my, my voice back. Oh, the nasal sprays, I use the nasal sprays. I used the neti pot, okay? I used the salt water rinse, like I used everything. I just, I need that to be made clear. I need that to be made very clear. I did it all, okay? And I still sound like this <laughs> after two weeks. It's so crazy. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna take my Refer 15, Refer 15. I'm just gonna go in with cyanide. I don't know how I'm gonna film other videos. 
I can't blow my nose now. And just between the, well, over the edge of the purple, but keeping it localized right here. I felt very, very chaotic. Uh, I saw the Beyonce movie recently. That was really fun. I didn't realize, I had no idea that it was basically just gonna be the concert again. <laughs> I made my boyfriend come with me. God bless him. I thought it was gonna be more documentary and less concert because I went to the concert, but it's awesome for people who didn't get to go to the concert to be able to like see the concert, you know? And I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Um, I'm very thankful to him <laughs> for, for coming and sitting through that whole concert and plus. It was very entertaining though. She is truly just the most talented person in the entire world, you know? And if you wanna fight me on it, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been thinking about painting in my apartment. I really didn't know how long we would be living here. It's already been, has it been two years? I haven't lived anywhere else for longer than two years. So the fact that it's been two years, wait. Yeah, this month is, makes it two years, I think. We moved in December. Maybe a little over, actually. I think it's a little bit over. Um, but yeah, I haven't lived anywhere for longer than that. So I really just, I, I don't know, we didn't renew our lease because I just kind of assumed that we would be going somewhere else. Um, and we just like, haven't. <laughs> so um, I just never painted, I never painted. I mean, we had like, when we moved into our, our last place was basically just like a gigantic storage bin, you know? I'm making this lower lash line really, really smoky, but I do feel like Bailey deserves it. I know a lot of people don't like my smoky under eyes, but it's Bailey, so fuck you. <laughs> I think that's what she would say. Um, oh God, I love it. Oh, it's such a, so dark. I gotta balance that top a little bit though. I'm gonna go in with arsenic. What was I saying? Yeah, so I never painted. When we moved into this place, um, our last place, I don't think we hung anything on the walls until like our, the last six months of living there, which was pretty ridiculous. So when we moved here, I, I moved in real quick, like got stuff up on the walls real quick, like bought a bunch of, like bought rugs, bought new furniture immediately. Um, I just did not want to live in like a storage unit again. So I just kind of went crazy and, you know, ended up getting like a lot, it's tough buying furniture for someone who is 6'5", versus like me, who's 5'2", you know, it's very difficult. Um, gotta f try and find like a really tall couch, you know, otherwise he just sinks into it which is impossible, nobody makes tall couches. I don't know if you guys know that. Nobody makes tall couches. Everything, when we were moving in here, everything was mid-century modern, okay? A man who is 6'5 cannot sit on a couch that is 14 inches tall, okay? That is unreasonable. Um, and it also, like, this is just an apartment. It's not like we live, like, I was gonna say, it's not like we live here. It's not like we own the place. So I'm not gonna have, a, like, a custom couch made. You know what I mean? Um, Cause like at some point we're gonna live somewhere more permanently and I guess I had, would have to do it then. It seems like I would have to do it then. Cause nothing, trust me, nothing is tall enough for him. It's so irritating. He just like sinks right into our couch um, with his knees like all the way up. It's crazy. But yeah, I just bought like a, bu I just bought a bunch of stuff and didn't paint anything. Just hung a bunch of stuff up and I don't know, part of me kind of regrets that because now I feel like there's so many interesting design things that I have learned and would love to implement, but I already have all this stuff and I'm not the type, I am not the type to be like, oh, I'll sell this on Facebook Marketplace. When we were moving out of our last place, I tried that with a lot of stuff. We ended up donating a lot because it's just so unreliable. Like Facebook, there's so many people on Facebook Marketplace who will just be like, yeah, please hold this for me. I can pick it up in three days or whatever. I had this happen with, I think our coffee table, which like wasn't the end of the world. It was kind of a pretty shitty coffee table. I think we just ended up donating it. But um, someone was like, oh, I definitely want it, but I can't pick it up until this date. 
and I was like, okay, well, we move by this date, so you have to pick it up by this time, whatever. And he was like, perfect. And like the conversation seemed like so good. And I was like, okay, like I'm all, I'm willing to hold it for you. Like that's totally fine, blah, 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 whatever. And then I like messaged him the day before he was supposed to pick it up, which was like a couple days before we were moving. And he was basically like, oh, uh, yeah, I changed my mind. And I was like, I hate you and everything that you represent. Oh, I was gonna try, um, whatever, who cares. All right, let's let's um, let's make a move here because this has been going on for way too freaking long already. I told you, it's, you're in for the long haul. Look at how stringy this shit looks. Especially now that my like roots have grown in so much, which by the way, they look so much darker than they, well, actually maybe it's just because it's next to the bleach. Oh, it's so bad, so dead, it needs to be cut. Okay. Um. I don't think I'm gonna do falsies. I just don't feel like it. How do we feel about this? It's kind of Halloween-y. Let me finish off my, actually, should I um, highlight? What do I wanna do with my inner corner? Actually, I do. Where's that, where's that? Um, do I wanna use that? Fuck, get it together, figure it out. I have this um, Dolce & Gabbana highlighter that I was gonna use in that sugar cookie look, but I thought it was too peachy, and I think it's actually pretty fabulous for this makeup look. So this is in the shade, uh, is it just one of those ones? Oh, Devotion Illuminate Viso, double zero, Luch, Luch, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna use Nikki's highlighting brush. This is the N14 BK Beauty. Just a very pretty like neutral, it's got a little color since I'm not wearing blush yet. It'll add a little color to the cheeks for this video for all of you. So y'all is something that I would really like to include in my vocabulary because I like that it's all encompassing, um, but it's neutral. Uh, Cause I am a millennial and I grew up calling everybody guys and now I'm referring to everyone as girl. <laughs> everyone as girl. When I was at the Beyonce movie, I had, to, I had to pee so, so long. I had to pee so bad afterwards. So I went to the bathroom and I went to the bathroom and I don't know what it is. We went to the AMC at the Grove and every single stall like was not unflushed. And I was like, girl, like I said that out loud at one point. I was like, girl, what's going on? Um, anyway, so everyone is girl but I would also like to implement y'all, but it feels so, I'm from New Hampshire. It feels so wrong. It feels so wrong to say. I also am not, I really don't like country music. So I kind of feel like a fraud by saying y'all. That's a really nice highlighter. It's actually quite um, natural looking. It has like a really nice like peachy golden glow. I like that, it's quite nice. What am I gonna do with my, should I put that in my inner corner? Let's just do it, who cares? So like, if you hear me say it, I've put it in like some titles of my videos cause I like it, I think it's good, I think it works. Um, but saying it out loud is very difficult for me. It's just, I feel like such a fraud. So if you hear me say it, just bear with me. Just know that I feel uncomfortable and I'm trying so hard to get through it. <sighs> Brows? The, um, the, like the, the, that, just the drastic necessity that I feel right now to blow my nose and I can't because I have so much makeup on. Horrible, horrible. I just can't, I still, I, I will forever be scarred by this cold experience. I just still can't believe it was a cold. Can't believe it. It's just ridiculous. Oh, one of the, um, products that I look, actually, you know what? I look, I look good. I'm glowing. <laughs> I don't sound like I am, but I am. I'm glowing. Uh, one of the products that I was so interested in when I was watching the Nikki Makeup Masterclass is um, this new like brow pen. You know I love a brow pen. And the colors that she was using looked so good. So anyway, I'm going to be using one of those today. I'm very excited to like actually put it on my skin. It came when I, I think I ordered it while I was sick and it came while I was sick and I just like drew, swatched it on my hand, but obviously like, you know, 
can't actually do anything with it when you're sick. My eyebrows are definitely getting more uneven as I get older. There's so many things about getting older that um, are rude, are rude. I would say wrinkles are the least of my worries. The texture that is happening on my upper lid, the texture and color that's happening on my upper lid, um, just below, especially just below my brow bone is rude, extremely rude. Um, I don't like it. I don't know why, I don't know why. It makes blending so difficult, uh, which like blending was my thing. I don't know if you guys know, but blending was kind of my thing. And now I feel like I can't do it. Um, and so that's upsetting. And I'm blaming that all on getting older because I turned 30 during the pandemic. I've basically joked that like I've turned 30 every year since then. <laughs> so I'm 30 until I turn 35 and then I'll be 35 until I turn 40. I'm basically just doing the, I'm doing the five year, five year marks. It's always been a problem with these stupid lines. I probably should have put some eyeshadow primer underneath my eyes. Please, please, please don't forget to give me suggestions for eyeshadow primers. Do I need to pick up the Marc Jacobs one? Do they still make it? Are there any others that are like super smooth? Because for whatever reason, like I need one that's good for texture because apparently I just have, I just got a lot of texture going on. And Urban Decay is just not, it's not cutting it for me anymore. Skin looks nice though. Happy with my skin, very happy. <sighs> okay, let's put some mascara on. What mascara am I using? I'm gonna use the um, Half Magic Mascara because I don't feel like using something waterproof. And the Half Magic Mascara is just so good. I just like pulled off a bunch of eye stuff though. Ziva is just sitting in a chair staring at me and I don't know why. What can I do for you, buddy? I'm really in no state to be filming. Like the way that I sound is so ridiculous. Like I sound like I'm so sick still. <laughs> I feel good, like everything feels fine. I'm just sound horrible, you know? I'm taking a little bit of well rested just to soften this a little bit, even though I don't really care. I just kind of feel like someone's gonna want it. And I just want you to be happy, okay? That's all I want in life. I'm here for you. That sounds sarcastic. <laughs> it's a little bit softer. Well rested, bro. It's just a sleeper, sleeper product. All right, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh yeah, brows. All right, so I have these new brow pens. So these are from, um, this is already so dirty. How did that happen? I haven't even used it yet. Um, these are from the brand WB Co. Wait, what's the full name? Oh, it's an, it's an Irish brand, WB Co. Um, the Brow Pen. So I have two shades, Brew and Root. I don't know which one I wanna do. Okay, Brew looks dark. Root looks just as dark, what the fuck? Oh no, wait, that's Brew. What? They look the same. Oh God, I don't know what to do now. They look the same to me. Do they look different to you? <laughs> Maybe if I put them on white. Oop. Okay, so brew is darker than root, slightly. All right, so I guess I'm gonna use root. And I'm just gonna fill in the sparse, sparseness. Wow, damn. I got this because she was like, it's such a light product and it's, very dark. <laughs> Guess I should have gotten the lightest one. Damn, it might be more pigmented than my NYX brow tint pen. I wasn't expecting that. It is very fine, which is nice, but yeah, it's really dark. Damn it. Okay, I mean, I think it looks good, but it's just not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot softer. There were only three shades. I got um, the medium and the dark. I didn't get the light one. I should probably get the light one. 
just the light ones, the lightest ones always end up looking too um, like warm on me usually, but maybe this one would be good. I don't know. I'm just gonna go back in with my pencil because I'm afraid to use the pen. and Just extend my tail a little bit. Maybe as it starts to lose its pigment, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be good. Since the eye is so intense, I'm really liking this half magic mascara. Um, I'm gonna keep the lip real simple. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use a nude lip liner. Which one I don't know. Would love to use Topist. Mm, maybe I'll use Peripera Milky Brown. This is a good one. It's good because it's slightly more saturated than my lip color, but it's pretty close to my lip color. Go in with a brush, soften that. And then I'm gonna do a little Lisa Eldridge trick that I just re learned when she was doing Victoria Beckham's makeup. I'm gonna take a teeny bit of my Givenchy powder and just set over that lip liner so I don't have that shine, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. Cause I do like, I like to overline at least a little teeny bit just outside my lip line, but it just ends up looking so obvious because of that like shininess um, and moisture from the lip liner. Might seem counterintuitive. Uh, I'm just gonna go in with the gloss, but I'm gonna keep it like a little bit closer to the center. This is Tower 28 Magic lip gloss. Gold, gold flex. Oh God, is that coconut? Oh, why do they do this to me? I can barely smell, but I'm pretty sure this is coconut. I hate coconut, I hate it so much. That's pretty though. Oh, it's like pineapple and coconut, which is like the worst combination in my opinion. I really hate that. <laughs> uh, gloss is really beautiful though. Mmm, feels so nice. Mmm, kind of feels like coconut oil. I'm taking a little bit of concealer and also Lisa Eldridge trick. I always do this because I just have a lot of darkness in this area, like the corner of my mouth. I have so much darkness there. Um, and this is her, her like happy lip trick, happy mouth or whatever, how to not look angry or frowny. Oh, I look a little crazy. <laughs> I brought it in too much, I think. Do I? I don't, I can't really tell. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time. I like don't even, like what does this look like to you? How does it look? Does it look okay? Because <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, all right guys, this is the finished look. This is uh, what we came up with while we were, lip gloss is a little sticky. A little sticky. Might have put a little too much on. Uh, this is what we came up with while we were talking a bunch of shit. We talked about a lot, right? Talked about a lot. <laughs> Uh, I know this was a long one. I hope that you enjoyed, you know, getting ready with me or whatever. Maybe you were just like doing the dishes or something and you felt like listening to somebody talk shit. But um, regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you looks you want to see next. I know that a lot of people want to see a holiday look. So I'm a little torn because there's some people saying that they don't want to see a typical holiday look. There's others who say they do want to see a typical holiday look. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments which direction I should be going in. Uh, and that's it, dude. I gotta go and I gotta blow my nose, but first I have to film two other videos. So wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. I no longer live below, what do I call him? George. So everything is good. Everything is good. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, subscribe and all the shit and I'll see you next time.